hey, Drew. Yeah? Guess where my son is committing to go to college and play football? University of Kentucky? No. Well, now he's just ruined it. <laughs> Nolan North, and yes, despite Drew's uh, snarky answer, uh, welcome to Seattle, University of Washington. Uh, tomorrow, my boy, my youngest, uh, it's like National Early Signing Day, Man. December 18th. And, That's uh, so cool, dude. And he's uh, he's uh, committed on his Twitter, and there's been a lot of replayers who showed him some love out there. I uh, appreciate that. It's really nice. Very, very proud papa. Uh, so proud that I got the purple shoes. I mean... These, these are much. They're they're deep purple. They're an indigo purple. I'm gonna go with. Look at that. But it's cool. They have these little things. See the W for Washington. That comes off. And then this one says, "Go dogs," because they're mascots. Uh, they're the Huskies. Yeah. And um, Steph, I want to. Sh uh, you can show them the the mascot. Say, that's the husky. That's cute. And uh, and and this is my favorite photo. It's a puppy. Yeah. That's the new husky. His name, you know what they call him? His name's Dubs. Dubs? Because they call it U Dub. Oh, yeah. W. That makes sense. Those are some swanky shoes. Though. Are those? I mean, those you, are you dope. know what? Most times you, you need to, you, you, need to you, you need to go to the school, be a parent of someone who's going to the school, or you're Willy Wonka, one of his Oompa Loompas, <laughs> I think. You know, because I actually had to cut the bells off. Yes, very excited. Uh, it's been it's been a whirlwind. Uh, you know, yeah. God is uh, the commitment, but we're we're very very excited. I mean, I'm yeah. very proud of both my boys. Uh, you, you must be just like glowing, man. Like that's super cool, right? I it's mean, it's really big. It's a really big yeah. deal. And for those of you who are overseas, or if you're not into um, college sports, uh, college football, it's it's kind of a big deal. Um, if you play college football at all at university, that's a big deal, or, or any kind of athletic, it's a it's a big deal. But if you get to the Division One level, it's an even bigger deal. And then in the Division One level, if you're able to break into one of the, it's called the Power Five conferences, so ACC, SEC, Big Ten, Big Twelve, and the Pac-12. Washington happens to be in the Pac-12, currently ranked um, at the time of this filming, 22 in the country. Uh, they have a game; they got could have gone up and down by now. Uh, I'm not sure, but. Um, yeah, really, really good team. And uh, one of the things a good coach is good people. It's the kind of guy you're really glad that your your um, uh, kids are going to be mentored by men with character and integrity. Yeah. And uh, it's also happens to be an incredibly uh, fine academic institution. Yeah. So, you know, he won't be a shithead. You know? <laughs> he gets That's... tackled too many times in his head. He's like, I, die, I like eggs. You know? <laughs> You know, I don't, you know, I don't want, that's what he's like now. Yeah. But if he got rattled around some more. Maybe. Say, oh, Lord, hey, 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 Root, Root. <laughs> Ooh, you know, Baby. That is, that's a little foreshadowing to next week's special guest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, topics and tangents time here on the Big Retro Replay Show. Um, and if, in case you don't know, Nolan North, Drusephine J. Drusef, uh, Paul Boss on the monitors making us sound groovy and cool. We're in the basement and uh, there's a tree. Topics and tangents this week. Um, this, uh, I don't even need my glasses for this. I know this story. Uh, amazing. Uh, and the reason why Florida sucks. <laughs> um, but also awesome at the same time. I think. No, no. <laughs> I, I don't know if people out there know that I have a fear of like sharks and things like that, but it's it, what I find it's actually any kind of predator that I could be eaten by. Hmm. I just feel like like a shark, a crocodile, some, something that's going to... Yeah. And Donnie in, behind in Safeway. You're pretty scared huh? of him too. Donnie behind Safeway? Well, Donnie behind the Safeway is, yeah. I mean, I, w I was afraid of him, but he finally lost that last tooth. Oh, so now he just kind of gums at my ankles. I'm like, Donnie, it tickles. <laughs> um, 
Uh, no, this is great. So Richard Wilbanks, 74-year-old man in Florida, um, walking his, oh, I guess it wasn't on a leash, three-month-old little King Charles Spaniel, little cavalier puppy, freaking alligator comes up, snatches the puppy. This happens a lot in Florida, too. This is a serious thing. And grabs him, and and and, and people know that alligators do, and they take their, their prey back down and they drown it and shove it under a log to tenderize it, which actually is a pretty good idea. Um, <laughs> if you're going to look to eat raw meat, you want to get it soft. Uh, and this guy, the, the best part, I'll save the best part for last. The guy jumped into the water. 74-year-old man jumps in water. Look at this. Look at this guy. Goes out. What is he doing? Pulls the, all croc the alligator out. Look at the little puppy. Poor little thing. Oh, my gosh. And, and he yanks its jaws open. But can we just pause that for a second? Or can you just look? Guys, he never took his cigar <laughs> out of his mouth. So awesome. Is that Mike Ditka? <laughs> is that the great Chicago Bears football coach? Is that... The most manly. That guy's just like, I'm going to go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go shave my puppy. I'm going. I'm going to turn this fucker into a pair of boots or a belt. And um, I'm certainly not going to. Uh, I'll be damned if I relight my 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 Arturo Fuente. Yeah. I mean, wow. <laughs> what a champion. Yeah. I mean. It, He's I thought my dad was a big shot when he was like started put, play, putting with his cigar, right. you know, because he, you know, he'd be playing golf and you know you usually take it out when you swing. He just started didn't care to the point the smoke's in his face, his eyes are watering. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> he made more putts that way too. By it's the way. so Side amazing. Note. I mean, how the hell is that? Done? This guy is this guy. By the way, guys, the good. I wouldn't even do this story if something bad happened to the puppy. Puncture wounds to the belly, which I actually had a puppy that was grabbed by a coyote. Uh, and I and, and the funny thing is, you just react. Um, yeah. I, I was watching this, and I had a puppy. Uh, I think I've told this story before. Uh, let it out one morning, just in my underwear, just half asleep. Let it out in the morning, six thirty, whatever. The, the two little puppies. All of a sudden, one is losing its mind. One is screeching like a sound I haven't heard. I jumped up, ran out, and a coyote is running across my lawn with one of the puppies in his in his mouth. Oh my gosh! But it was it was. Coyotes aren't that big. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like a dingo, you know, but didn't take the baby, took my baby puppy. Um, goes, uh, Australia just went, nope, click. Uh, every, we just lost everyone in Australia. <laughs> like the five. Um, There's yes. five and, of them. No, but they, uh, uh, and I just instinctively, hey, and I ran and tried to tackle a coyote and it dropped the dog, the puppy, and jumped a, a six foot wood fence, like oh just gosh. leaped it like to the top and gone. And actually, I remember, I'll never forget, it kind of jumped to the top, four little paws on the top of a fence, and it looked back like, like, <laughs> you, and just left. <laughs> like I took its breakfast, which yeah. was my puppy. Oh um, my but yeah, puncture wounds, just like that. So, but look at that little dog. I know. And the cutest little puppy in that. Yeah. Ugh. I, I hate that. Hate alligators for that. Hate Florida for having that. Yeah. I look, and, and now he still takes the dog on a walk, but he puts him on a leash. Yeah. But I, Which is know, smart. I, there was a woman, uh, I, I think there was a woman killed when she had her dog on uh, uh, on a leash and a, a big alligator came out and grabbed it and she had it on her leash and it pulled her in oh my God. and down and she drowned, I think. I mean, listen, if you're walking your dog in Florida, uh, first of all, move from Florida. Uh, <laughs> second of all, uh, if you're walking your dog, have it on a leash and near no bodies of water. Done. Yeah. Done. Alligators I mean, are I mean, fast too. Have you seen those suckers move? Yeah. You, well, you got it. You got to go sides. You got to yeah, go zigzag. side on them. Yeah. You got to zig it. Yeah. Uh, people say zigzag. I'm like, I'm just going to zig one way. <laughs> oh, really? You don't I'm go. I'm just going to do a hard 90 degree turn. Yeah. <laughs> just keep running in a square. So like catch up. <laughs> just keep running. In. I, think, <laughs> I think you're going to run into it at that point. Well, I'm not that quick anymore. Yeah, but that's true. That might confuse it, but no, seriously, it's like <laughs> I no, got you by quick, the tail. But it's horrible, and then they uh, bring it. Oh, they bring it into the murky deep, shove you under a log, and wait till you're softer than mashed potatoes. I feel like this is what flesh. I feel like Sully. This is like Sully in retirement, like walking his dog and beating up alligators with a cigar <laughs> still in his mouth. <laughs> is there any way we could like redo that footage to where the guy is pulling Richard McGonagall's jaws open to let the dog out? That's a nice. By the cigar. way, this is something it like like Sully would do. Yeah.
You know? Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, that guy with the cigar, it's Victor Sullivan. It is. It could be the real life That's Victor Sullivan. Yeah. Not losing the cigar is just what what a king. Yeah. That guy is a king. Richard Wilbanks, my hat's off to you. God bless you. And little Gunner. Great name to little Gunner is King Charles Spaniel. Drew, what are we playing today? Man, we have a special game for you today. Special, special game. Special, um, special game. Uh, uh, it's not, with- this is not going to be good. I know what we're playing. We are playing Spider-Man Miles Morales, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. PS5. Uh, we got one to the studio. Don't try to steal it. We lock it up. And we have that alligator from the video earlier guarding it. So if you are a puppy, he will mess you up. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're a 74-year-old man with a cigar. A huge hit. Great game. Uh I attempted to, I actually tried to practice this oh. a little bit before today's show. Uh, it was it was useless. Um, my son, um, you know about my son? He's going to Washington. Oh. Did I mention that? He's a football player. Uh, my, my youngest, uh, no, he's he's big time into Spider-Man. He's beaten the game. And I went in there and watched him play. And, and he's pretty good because he's really good. He's beaten the game he, and he just goes back and just, it is stunning yeah this game it, visually this game is just unbelievable um uh it is um i think he's he's web slinging all over uh seattle where i don't know if you guys know is where the university of washington <laughs> it's not seattle it's new york yeah it's definitely- but the point is it's uh and i you know my favorite part is it has um the avengers uh like what's it like stark tower is that stark right tower, yeah, avengers tower avengers tower uh, say I call it Stark Tower because Tony Stark, that was me. You know it. <laughs> well, it was Stark Tower at one point. Huh? It was. Yeah, I know. I sold it for a billion. Uh, in Cougar Rants. Um No, uh, but he goes up at the top and he can sit on the top and then just do this look over. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, said, I felt bad though. He was like, because he was like getting tired. He's like, yeah, he's just showing me stuff. And they said, and they said, you know, the report of the crime over here like that. And I'm like, it's a crime over there. And he goes, yeah. He said, yeah, but I, I already did that one. Um, I'll show you over here. And I'm going, yeah, but there's people in trouble. <laughs> You're Spider-Man. It's so, it's so cool. It's so real. Yeah. Well, and I think what's, what's. I'm, I'm really, really amped up right now. You are. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Let's go. All right. Drew, time to uh, take a moment to thank our sponsor today, NordVPN. I'm loving me some NordVPN. Uh, Guys, you want secure private uh, access to the internet uh, with the VPN that tech experts at Wired, The Verge, CNET, TechRadar, many, many more are calling the best. They recommend it the highest. Now, I am guilty of, uh, you know, tapping into any internet connection I can get. My neighbor still doesn't know I'm using his Wi-Fi. But the point is, he wouldn't have to worry about guys like me if he had NordVPN protecting his data. It's not very good data. I'll send you the link. They have over 5,500 servers in 60 countries, and it's super, super fast no matter where you are. And the cherry on top of the proverbial Sunday is something they call CyberSec. Drew, I love me some CyberSec. You know why? It blocks malware and those annoying ads that autoplay at full blast and wake up some people's wives uh, while you're trying to get the score to see if the New York Giants uh, made any trades. <laughs> anyway, uh, NordVPN is gonna let her sleep sounder because none of that's gonna happen. Protect yourself while you're doing your holiday shopping uh, this season with a special NordVPN holiday deal. That's right, you're gonna get 68% off a two-year plan and to get an additional four months for free. And all you gotta do is go to NordVPN dot org slash retro replay put in the coupon code retro replay and and it's yours that's right nordvpn.org slash retro replay use the coupon code retro replay 68 percent off two-year plan plus four additional months for free check them out nordvpn protect your data now all right i'm going to just jump into this shit yeah let's do it okay this is very cool so this thing is actually, uh, the controller actually felt like the subway. Yeah. Well, the new uh, PlayStation 5 controller has like haptic feedback, which is really cool. There's some really cool capabilities in the new controller. Oh, Miles uses the thumbs up emoji. So do I. <laughs> Woo! 
Look at that. Oh, look at that. It feels like Christmas. It's Christmas time in New York. Oh, Live man. there. By the way, the soundtrack to uh, Morales. There you go. Rio means real. Yeah, the music, the music in this game is so cool. Now, is he already Spider-Man, or do we yeah, become Spider-Man? Well, he's kind of like, he just gained his powers. Uh, so there's two Spider-Mans in this world right now. So, so there's the cool. Peter Parker, which the, the game, the previous game, right, right, uh, right. was played as. And at the end, it introduces Miles. Look at that. I mean, it, it just, they got New York. It just feels so perfect. It, it's, it's uh, I'm, listen, I, I live there. I mean, it's stunning how, how kind of real this looks. Oh, I missed the text. What happened? Oh, he got something. Something's going down. I, I'm not doing anything yet. No, not yet. You will here in a second. Well, how do I, you're going to tell so, me how to yeah, shoot Yeah, like, down? so, like, R, R2. Is uh, what you're gonna swing R2 to swing. Whoa, look at that! Oh, okay, jump and then R2. X is to jump. So hold R2 to swing and then jump and then yeah. What? So R2 to swing and then when you hold R2 and then R2 again. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it's like kind of like like rope swinging, like you know, like he would grab a rope and then let go and then grab another rope. So R2 is sort of like your... Well, what shoots? R2. There you go, see? Hold it, swing, let go, R2 again. There you go. And you can, when you're holding R2, you can run on walls, and then jump. X is jump. There you go. So you gotta keep holding R2. <laughs> uh, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Look at the sun, yeah, the sunset. That's how I get, so I, I still am trying to figure this out. Oh, I just, I'm running into sh Oh, man, this... Um. No, you're good. You're good. I mean, listen, it takes a minute to get used to, but then... Oh, look at that. So you can, like, perch. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm sure there's crime going on, but I'm just checking out the city. I'm sure there's crime. There's definitely crime happening. Um, God, it just... New, listen, there's no better place that feels more like Christmas than New York City around the holidays. I agree. You know, it's interesting. So apparently they couldn't get the rights to the uh, the Chrysler building, so it's missing. Uh, so one of the buildings missing from the... Uh... Oh, is that Stark Tower over there? Yeah, that that's... Is that... that is that the Avengers Tower? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Can you climb it? Oh, it is. Look, it's the Avengers Tower. Climb all the way up. Yeah, there you go. If you hit, uh, yeah, there you go, it'll, yeah, it'll go faster. So hit the R2, there you go, yeah. Okay, hold on, let me see where I am in New York. I, I know New York a little bit. So that's Central Park. I wanna go, we gotta go down. Oh, screw it, let's go. Freeze. Where are we? There's, uh... Hey, it's Spider-Man, Happy Hanukkah. I like that. Yeah. See, hold on, see, I gotta go to the streets. We're at 58th. Oh, 59th. Oh, I used to live. We're at 59th and Park. Oh, you know what that is? Hold on, 59th and Park. I'm literally running around. Yeah, you can like I'm looking for swing. This. No, I want to look. I'm literally like this. No, I'm just dressed like him. I want to see where I am now. It's time to go uh, do some spider man -ing. Yeah, well, I need a lot more time spider manning because I'm dizzy. See my kid play this game. He's awesome. Like I'm trying to go higher. I don't even know what the mission is. So this that you see that yellow arrow? It's uh, you got 361 meters. Oh, there's the church. Oh yeah. This is actually where I wanted to go. Hold well, on, give me a second. This should be Rockefeller Center. I want to see the tree. That's where I'm going to. Oh yeah. Oh my God! Look at the snowflakes being projected on the wall. Rockefeller Center should be right here. Yeah. Oh, look at the ice skate rink. There's the tree. Oh, look at that. Hey. We're skating. Yeah. There's a Rockefeller Center tree. Uh, you know what else is up there? A lot of people don't know. Lego store. See that Braxton? Yeah. It's a Lego store. <laughs> yeah. 
It's a Lego store right there. It's not Braxton. You should have made that Brixton. Can you get by your car? Um, maybe. Oh, that was cool. Uh, yeah, you gotta get higher if you can. I don't know what I'm doing. This sucks. Ugh, you know what? This is gonna cause another rage quit. You can't rage quit this game. It's easy. Dude, you're almost there. Put on cutscene. Oh, see, this is gonna be a problem. Yep. People are gonna rely on me and. <laughs> Yeah, you don't understand. I'm like, I'm not happy. Why? Because I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just gonna look. I love Spider-Man. I'm gonna look like, and I'm gonna, fucking. There's gonna be another Spider-Man game where I look like an idiot. <laughs> I've already been doing this the whole time. Now I gotta learn I mean, how to fight. Like, I feel like the yeah. I feel like the game though. Uh, you, you'll benefit from some button mashing. So I don't think it's, it's hard to not look cool. Just mashing buttons here. I gotta say, I think the puffer jacket's a good idea. Yeah. In New York in the winter. Yeah. Hello, tiny spiders. Hello, tiny spiders. It's Rhino. Who played Rhino? Oh, Fred Tattershore. Boom. Look at that. Oh, I just did horrible things in this. <laughs> Press circle to dodge. There you go. Oh, nice, dude. See, look. Square and circle are your friends here. And then use... Yeah, use your web. Look at that. Dude, you just wiped out a whole gang of convicts. Oh, so L1 and R1. Do that real quick. Oh, I can be in a pole! Watch out. Watch out. That He's, He can throw a car. Oh, more guys? No, they're armed. So circle's gonna be your friend. And then R1 repeatedly, we'll s stick them to surfaces. Uh, press down on the D-pad to heal. Look at that. Dude, that spin kick is. Uh, look at, yeah, you gotta dodge those bullets. Dodge. And that circle, right? Yeah. So when your spidey sense tingles, like on the. when your head has that glow around it. Hit circle. Yeah. Especially when it's red. Hey, they're taking the car. It's a good car. It's okay. Oh! <gasps> oh, yeah, here's this cool R2, L2, R2. L2, R2. And then X. And now swing, follow Rhino. So he's the green, like. Shit, I told you. This is the problem. There you go, just swing. Alright, uh, circle now. Oh. Uh. Okay. Rhino escaped. Rhino escaped. Um, you know what? And I'm, I'm for that. Uh -oh. <laughs> L2R2X. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, a little rooftop. Now jump, swing, and uh, there you go. Follow the blue, or the, yeah, the neon blue. Oh, look at the Christmas trees. Come on, I can get this. Careful circle. Oh, there you go, you're good. Oh, I'm gonna yeah, cut scene. Oh, tell me what to do, tell me what to do. Oh. God, this, this. Alright, so just, you could steer Reiner to avoid obstacles. <laughs> it's like riding a bull. Rhino is just out of control. Yeah. That sounds nice. <laughs> it's so oh, cool. This is just like the... <laughs> uh, L2, R2. Nice. Gotcha. 
you just saved the baby. Thank you. Uh, triangle. Oh! Don't baby. X. Oh! Look at this. The game is ridiculous. Oh my god, I, I just love when it tells Don't me. kill the tree! Oh, oh I didn't mean to kill god. the tree! You just. You I ruined Christmas! Christmas. <laughs> it totally did. Uh, I'll get up there. Oh, oh no, not the, not the castle. Not the nutcracker. Not the nutcracker. Nobody likes Nutcracker. That's true. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. Oh, God, I wish I was good at this game. I could get good at You're getting there. All right, keep up with him. Uh. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Coconut milk. Yeah, swinging is your friend here. I got stuck in the building. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think you can do the L2, R2 and swing through that hole, but that's a little uh, advanced. Yeah, but that's why they taught me. It is, but... Uh, I just need to keep up with it. Yeah, just keep up with it. I mean, you're doing really good. Oh, nice move. I love the way he uh, they have him swing in this game. It's so cool. I'm getting the, the swinging down. Bro. Yeah, you are. See, I knew you get it. I know, it just takes a little time. I mean, the graffiti. Look at the snowflakes. Circle. Ooh, there you go. You're still in it. Ooh. Ah. God, the guy can move. Yeah, he did. Let us raise temperature. Oh, jeez. That's going to get hot. Very bad, very bad. <laughs> Oh, that would hurt. Pete, are you okay? Oh, that building. No, 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 no not okay. on Christmas. I've got him. Headed your way. Be ready. Okay. Yeah. Might, uh, need a minute. <clears throat> All right, so you're going to want to dodge rocket launch guy. Oh, he's got the collar on. Circle. Nice. Look, see, dude, look at you. Do you feel like Spider-Man right now? Well, the one thing, uh, kind of, but the thing is, it's, you got to dodge. Yeah. You got to duck, I, dodge. I the... Preemptive dodges. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So you can like swing stuff to hit them with. Like, so if you hit uh, L2 and R2, or R L1, R1, you'll grab like an item uh, and uh, that's labeled, like if you point it at an item. Square triangle? Yeah, when it, when it appears on screen, you see that, we see that, uh, no, circle triangle. Circle triangle, circle triangle. When you're next to them and it appears, see it like right now, circle triangle. Oh, that is nice. That is very satisfying. Yeah. That guy's down. Nice. Yeah, get that guy. So swing. You can uh, also like if you swing your web shooter at their weapon, you can take it and use it against them. Like swing. So this is like your venom. You have like this ability to like charge and hit people with like a look. Yes, so I've watched my son play this. L1. Square. Venom punch costs venom power to perform. Build venom power by attacking or dodging enemies. Yeah. So now just hit them like normally. There you go. Boom. Careful. Dodge. There you go. Dodge. Dodge. There you go. Now hit. you can hit him again. Dodge. Nice. Dodge. Oh, nice. Dude. Yeah. I don't know, mate. You might be getting a hole. You might be Spider-Man right now. I'm dodge. I'm dodging in cut and cut scene. Yeah, right. You're like, please don't uh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Nice. Oh. All right, you're ready. Oh. Nice. Oh, you're ready, dude. Oh, yes. Come on, come on. Kick some of that rhino ass. Oh. Smack a dabba. Oh. 
where... Oh. I don't know how you survive. Like I don't either. <laughs> I've missed with squares. Hit down on the D-pad real quick when you get a second. Down on the D-pad. Give me some more life. Yeah, you need to... There you go. All right. Oh, hit circle. Circle's your friend. Do I just keep running? Dodging, or can I fight him? Well, I mean... Uh, you gotta not hit... give me any L1R ones. Yeah, maybe try to go punch him. You gotta do some more dodging. There you go, now your Venom Punch is ready. Oof. You've hurt a lot of people today, Alexi. Oh, you got it. There you go. Back away, hit down on the D-pad again. There you go. Dodge. Oh, nice dodge, dude. Now go hit him. He's stunned. Did it? No, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Oh, I, I like the treads on the sneakers. <laughs> Dude, you're Spider-Man. That's it. Did, is this the guy that's gonna take away? Yeah. These are like. These are the good guys. Eh, I mean, are they? Ah uh, no, nothing ever good comes out of a, a Black Range Rover. Right. <laughs> so we we got him. We got we yeah, got, you got we Rhino. got we got. Uh, I mean the, now the Rhino. now you're Spider Man. I mean you know the game progresses. Spider Man gives you a suit and you can upgrade it and you do now. Spider Man goes on a little vacation and you get to protect the city over Christmas. That is so away. cool. I think I would just like to swing around New York City. Oh, man. So I, I am glad we got to go to Rockefeller Center. Uh, you know, it is the holiday season, so we got to see that. Um, well, there it is. Very cool. I've had enough, Spider-Man. Uh, let's get to our, uh, our guest uh, today. Drew, find, find Felicia for me. Find Felicia for me, please. Yes. Felicia. Everybody, it's Felicia Day. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. You bet. Uh, so we've been playing Miles Morales Spider-Man today. Uh, but before we get into it, uh, how you doing? How, I, I, you were, you've been a, a preschool teacher, correct? Uh, I mean, I just attended my child's preschool right before this because I needed to do preschool with her. That's what I do, man. I have a three-year-old, which I is kind of crazy. But with, with a great name, just... Ca Calliope, right? Calliope. But Calliope is how you pronounce it if you're Greek. Are you Greek, Nolan? Yes, I'm from certain time, yay. <laughs> Calliope. 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 Kind of like the really loud, um, I guess, steam-powered pipe organ from the 19th century. And she's very loud, so she... <laughs> so it works. And the, and, yeah, it works. And her name means beautiful voice because it's she's named after the uh, Greek muse, the head of the Greek muses, the muse of epic poetry and song. But she's not so much a singer as much of a screamer, so that's different. But maybe as she gets older. You know what? This is this this is bug. This is like I feel like a like. So I'm on the other end of the spectrum. My kids are 20 and, and 17, and like, did you hear that? Her name is uh, uh, Calliope. It's it's Greek. It's a beautiful song, and it's like this thought went into it. My son's name means barrel maker, and I f we found it in a book while we were making pasta. <laughs> what? Cooper. Really? Oh, that's a barrel maker. Cooper. I mean, it's like it's a cool name. Coop, what's up? I mean, love it. But and the other one's just a family name, Jarrett. Uh, but that's an, I mean, they're both they have personality. But, it's but, not like John and Adam or something. No offense to John's or Adam's. But, I know, but like, I've met people with they, like that's a beautiful name, Cal Calliope, and, and I met somebody named Orion. I'm like, oh wow, oh, that's isn't that cool. interesting. And I'm like that's cool, cool yeah. name and you know. Cooper. Don't put your kids down. It's too late, man. You can't go I'm back. I'm not putting it's them way, down. I'm putting late. us down. I They didn't sit there and come out of the, the womb and, eh, Cooper. It's I mean, Nolan is a pretty good name. Nolan is a Nolan North, a man with two last names. Shifty. That's true. Uh, My friend uh, Will Wheaton has a kid named Nolan. Will has so. a... I didn't know Will's mm -hmm. son's name Nolan, really. Yeah, one of them, yeah. Nolan and Ryan. So look at you. You got a Nolan friend. Wait a minute. You never Stop. Be a Nolan. You, Stop. What? 
Oh, his name's he has his his kids are Nolan and Ryan. Yes. Okay. Do you know I was named after the famous baseball player Nolan Ryan? There's a famous baseball player played for the Texas Rangers, California Angels, Houston Astros. His name is Nolan Ryan. That's who I was named after. He has kids named Nolan. He's outdone me. That's amazing. Next time I see Will Wheaton, I'm just gonna hug him. I don't know anything about what you just said. <laughs> it's baseball. I was a baseball player, and, and like it's a big deal to me that his sons are Nolan. Okay, you know what, oh, by the way? Lord. Hey, at least you're not unsubscribing like everybody else right now. Wow, are like, they, this, are they like, oh, I actively? Can, I, actively, I can hear it. I can hear it every time I start talking. You can't look at that, man. Things. You can't look at the, You can't look at that stuff. No, I don't really. I'm just making it up. No, mm -hmm. but uh, Drew is over there panicking and sweating. <laughs> and he's like, stop with the sports. Um, <laughs> so what have you been doing through all this crazy pandemic? Uh, uh, last time, was, so we've, we've been, uh, had the opportunity to work together on Con Man. Because my head is stuck so far up my own ass. <sighs> we've had a bunch mm -hmm. of I've had a bunch of people on there uh, from the show. Alan, Todd Stashwick, a bunch of folks. Um, and we had so much fun because Alan's crazy and we all yeah, know that in the best way. Uh, and, and I, I was, you know, flipping through the Twitters and everything there. And I saw you, uh, uh, big part of the supernatural finale. That's right. I was not, yeah, I was in the last episode, just a little brief thing, but I had an episode 18. I do. And the second I let my guard down, Stevie is just, she's gone. It was real sad. I've been on that show for eight years on and off. Yeah. So come with me if you want to live it was definitely uh it's a weird year a lot of things ending um and i've been under construction for the last 10 months you'll see that my office is going to look better than this but i just literally moved in the last two days so i'm waiting to put my books up i have a little sound booth going in one section it's perfect over here where these boxes are it's not like a real sound booth do you have a real sound booth at your house i have or a closet have, like, with, closet, with that, exactly. I have a padded closet and uh, it was like that when I moved in, which is weird because I, I don't know what they <laughs> kept in there. We, we found we found some some teeth and a lot of scratch marks. But the point is okay. um, that desk behind is that a is that a treadmill walking treadmill desk? It's a desk? treadmill desk and the, the desk can go up and down so I can put a chair on it and like real be lazy, be lazy and then I feel guilty and I'll be like, I'll eat a brownie while I'm walking. We'll see whether your balance, that's good balance. That's feng shui exactly. or something like exactly. that. That's yin yang. Yes. I like it. I know that it's like an old person thing, but like, I'm, you, you know, I don't actually exercise. So if I walk on there one hour a day, I'm like, I can have I whatever I want for dinner. I don't think that's an old person thing at all because uh, my father's an old person and he doesn't have one. Uh, if you had a okay. lazy boy and a remote control <laughs> no. uh, handcuffed to your wrist, that's an old person thing. Okay, uh, well, I don't have that yet. Although I do like to do the Ken Ken from the paper. It's like a little, it's like a Sudoku, but it's like with adding. And I'm like, I'm really into that. Look, okay, see, see, I can't do, I can't do adding. I don't do math. No math. Do you, really? No, I've, I've said that when, in school, when they introduced letters into math, I was out. See, that's when I got interested. See, you're a smart person. I don't, I can't talk no, to you about this. Cause I can't even do the, I mean, like all, all the math that I'm interested in is theoretical, but when it comes to like balancing checkbooks and stuff, psh, Give me some letters. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's why we're actors and entertainers. We just hire other people. Um, exactly. So, no, but um, talk to me about Spider-Man. Now, um, I was, I'm going to go back in on my own time because my son's really good at it. And I, he, yeah. he gave me some pointers. Uh, I failed miserably. I'm not, not looking too good today. Not bad, mm -hmm. but not too good. Um, have you streamed this? Have you played this game? No, I've right. not played it because I don't. I don't have a PS5 or PS4 hooked up, and I, I'm just mainly a PC gamer. So I play mostly on my PC. What I've been playing lately is well, I got back into WoW, um, and I've been doing D and D, and we've been playing Among Us a lot, and I've been playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is okay. I'm gonna stream a new, start a new one called Phoenix Immortals. I think just came out, so. I, I like my big adventure games and I like playing multiplayer games with my friends. That's been actually the highlight of the whole summer. Like, um, it's just so much fun to be able to play with like 10 other players and uh, it's really fun. So 
Very cool. Other than that, I really do. I don't, I've never played a Spider-Man game. I'm sorry. They're mostly locked to the PlayStation. I just Listen, not a con- this, this is the a first one I play I've, as much. This is the first one I've attempted since our first ever retro replay show, which was Spider-Man, which I rage quit. I didn't even know what that <laughs> meant, but I, I got so angry. It was, I was the old Atari. It was miserable. Um, mm-hmm. PC gaming is really interesting because we haven't really talked about all, that a lot um, and I, I actually work on a bunch of PC. I, I've done Guild Wars for years and oh, Star, I did Guild Wars. Star Wars. They never had me back though. Next time you have me back, tell them, tell them to bring back my character, Zoja. I'm an Asurian character. Thanks, by the way. I did not want to jump off this cliff. I hate getting wet. Okay, well, I, I, I can make that hook happen. Hook me up, man. I can hook, hook you up. up with that. I, I, matter of fact. Please. And and the great thing about that, uh, people who make Guild Wars are based in Seattle, where this is, and they're what? like, "Come on up, we'll 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 have you up. You can record up here, so I can make it a working <gasps> so vacation in the future. So Boom. it's going to be great. You can I can make that. that. Okay, can, ha- make it happen. I can make that happen. My character, they just never asked me back, and I was like. Oh my gosh! I uh, listen. I next time I talk to them, I'll be like, you know, Felicia Day wants to come back, and they're going to lose their mind. They'll be like, "Thank you, thank you." Yes. See, this is I don't need to email showrunners. I just go through Nolan North. That's right. I'm the one who needs showrunners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I about you know, exactly. it's like you're. It's like uh, you know what? This see this. It's balance. What she and I mm-hmm. have. It's mm-hmm. yin. It's yang. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> sitting sitting on other. a putting a chair on a treadmill. I've never thought of that. That's genius. Uh, it's the it's ultimate like, laziness. This thing is a che- I put a chair on rollers on a I think it was like I'm getting my steps in and just sit there. Um, what am I? Uh, Star Wars: Old Republic. Um, I, I heard a rumor, and I swear it's just a rumor, but that they may be bringing Uncharted Four to a PC. I, I don't know if what? that's true, but I thought they might be doing that. And uh, I mean. I know that that would be incredible because they're always usually only on PlayStation, and yeah. I I played I played I played the second one on my PlayStation, but that's that's the last one I played. Well, that was the best. I never. One. I mean, it was really good. <laughs> I just never. Are, are you? <laughs> you're saying that objectively, or because of your performance? No, I really liked that game. I, I was I yeah. in that. <laughs> Drew a little bit. Um, no, actually, no. I did. I really liked uh, the second. That I thought that second game uh, had the it. Um, for me, it was pacing, uh, and and I'm yeah. not. I, and everybody knows I'm not a huge gamer, but I recognize that game as it, it, the pacing. Uh, the it was like every scene, you, you you're like I, I. It's like watching a movie, and it, be like watching a movie, and you get to like uh, a certain point. And go, I'm going to pause that. I'll watch the rest of it later. Yeah. In a game, you know, you're like, I got to go to bed, but no, I I got to keep going. He's got to mm-hmm. find out. He's got to get to Sully. He's got to get to, a, and it just kept. Really uh, good storytelling. Yeah, pushed, it was really good storytelling story. in that. Yeah, I thought it was what really good. you think about really... that movie? The movie's going to come out. Yeah. What do you think about the... I'm excited about it. I, I actually, they flew me to Spain to meet Tom Holland and talk with him. What? And yeah, and uh, he's a huge fan of the game. Got to sit there and meet everybody. And uh, and I'm, I, I've been telling everybody. So uh, Sony has given us exclusive assets uh, we're going to be releasing some next week on our show. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so exciting. We're trying to, and Drew and I are trying to figure out the clues. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so, so like they, they've given us assets that aren't released anywhere else. Pictures from the set, from the movie. What? And we're That's trying exciting. To, That's yeah. amazing. So we're very, very excited. And I think they'll do a good job. He's, Tom Holland's a big fan. Uh, and, and the great thing is it's the conceit is where was Nathan Drake in his 20s? Because the games yeah. never addressed that. And mm-hmm. so now, so it can live in its own world and it be doesn't, its own That's thing. what the problem is when video games are like directly translated. Yeah. Like I'm worried about Last of Us, you know, because it's like, okay, the, the game is a masterpiece, but I guess for people who don't game, they can live that story, right? But it's it's hard when you duplicate it for the gamers who's already been in that world. Yeah. So it's smart to do a different version of it. So you're just filling the world out versus like duplicating what gamers have already done. Yeah, and uh, you know, and it, it would be, It'd be, you, I don't think I think you have to do with Last of Us. You would have to do a one-to-one adaptation because the story is the setting, right? It is exactly. Uh, I guess they're just going to take the script. I don't know. They just picked it up. I think for six episodes or something for HBO. Yeah, yeah. No, and yeah, and, and, but, and 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 I'm sure it'll be great. It's just. Oh yeah. You know, but it's, it's just. just gonna um, be, it has to be exactly the same thing you played. 
because it's so perfect. But that's the problem with the, and I don't know if this will be a problem. I, it, the interesting thing is, it's not a movie. It's a series, so you can mm -hmm. develop. You have more time to develop characters because I think people follow characters through their stories and not yes. the other way around necessarily. So, um, what I think is, you know, because if you did it with Uncharted, or you're taking somebody's personal experience where they're Nathan Drake or they're Ellie or Joel running yeah. around in this world. And that person with the controller gets to make those decisions and, and, and actions and, and, you know, the consequences of those, those kind of things, rather than just be a passive audience member and sit back and go, Oh, that was, that's, I wouldn't do yeah. that. I wouldn't have gone down. I that mean, you were, yeah, you invest so much in your own purse avatar in a sense, even yeah. if it's, you're playing one character that when you see other people making decisions, it feels frustrating, right? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, but I agree with but you. But I, I, you know, I'm, I'm of the mindset is like, you know, I, I, I know how hard it is to get, you know, uh, things made and, and mm -hmm. actually get them up on the screen. And, um, you know, I just, I wish them all the best to, to just to get it because, you know, I think gaming in, in particular has just been such a great place for storytelling. Uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to, uh, to see how Last of Us come, comes through. They, they got the showrunner from uh, Chernobyl, right? I mean. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's going to be, it's definitely looking like it, it could be really good. So yeah. I'm rooting for it because I want video games to be more respected for their stories because I think people don't respect video games for storytelling and, you know, it's a different kind of storytelling, but it is incredible when it's done really well. And I feel like lately it's yeah. been done very, very well. And so hopefully that will, you know, that translation from, you know, video game to real life uh, or real life TV, uh, well, live action, uh, it will succeed. And then it'll let other video games kind of be done better because there've been some really bad video game adaptations in the past. So I'm crossing my fingers. I think it's the gaming's moment. <laughs> it could be. It could be. It's what's going to usher us into 2021. It's just going to be gaming. Gaming exactly. and film is just going to converge in this beautiful world. Uh, Felicia Day, thank you so much. We'll uh, let you get back to uh, all the streaming. Uh, Drew, we're going to post, put her schedule up where she's Twitch, so everybody can go find that. The people who... Everybody watches this probably is already watching her anyway because she's huge, so... Uh, but oh, thank you. No. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. I am so happy to be on here and I miss you. I mean, I miss your face. So oh, wait, here it is. We'll see you. You know, and, and who knows, you know, what we'll do in the future, let's get on a series together in Vancouver yes. and we'll, like we'll, we'll, we'll do a Twitch stream from there. I like it. I will, I count me in. Okay. There let's get go. that series going on. Cause we'll it would do. be nice to work again. <laughs> well, uh, call all your showrunners, and I'll call mine. I will. I'll, I'll show runners. The runners is, is, <laughs> and, uh, um, uh, Guild Wars. If anybody from, uh, my friends at Guild Wars yes. is watching this. Hello. This is, Zoja. This, she, this is her audition. Um, come on. The college of cybernetics needs me back. There you go. Yep. I, I don't see why this doesn't nailed happen. it. Nailed it. <laughs> Felicia, thanks yeah. so much. Thanks for having me on. Kisses Good luck. back. Thanks. Bye. Take care. Welcome. It's Retro Feud here from the basement. I'm your host, Gene Shallots. I don't know. That's not a real one. <laughs> Nolan North. Yeah, of course. We already introduced me. You know. You guys know. Only people watch. Nobody, nobody knew who's watching this. Guys, welcome to Retro Feud. Um, basically, um, we're gonna give you five questions each, and we get point totals, uh, pagans on the on the calculator because I can't add. And uh, we're gonna have some fun. Here's how we start it. I'm going to think of a number between one and twenty. Whoever's closest without going over uh, gets to choose if they want to go first or second. I'm thinking of a number. McKinley, you pick first. Pick a number. Uh, seven. Michael. 13. The number was nine. McKinley, Joe. You get to Nine. Pick, you got it. Nine. That's it's right, <laughs> the doctor said. Um, tell me, uh, do you want to go first or, or second? I, I, I think I'd, I'd rather go second. Everybody <laughs> does that. Everybody does that. It's a good strategic nobody likes to. Nobody likes to be the first. Yeah, I was going to say it, too. Yeah. <laughs> <Girl. Yeah. laughs> 
Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to take that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to leave it alone. <laughs> Thank you for teeing it up for me. Um, first of all, uh, McKinley, where, where are you in the world? I'm in Utah. Utah. Michael? West Virginia. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah. Then we're going to Michael. Um, you will get the first five questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Pagan, are you ready? I am ready, sir. Okay, here we go. Start the clock. You have an inordinate amount of time on the clock. I, I first question. Who is the most popular person associated with Christmas? Santa Claus. Name one food you might have at Christmas dinner. Ham. Name a word or phrase that begins with snow. Snow globe. Snow globe. Name a popular Christmas carol. Uh, deck the halls. Name something people do on Christmas Day. Open presents. Ding, 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 ding. Too cheap for a real bell. <laughs> uh, but that is your five questions. Thank you very much. I think he did really, really well. I was just thinking first, of Christmas cliches. Yeah, well, this, this that's, <laughs> our show is based on all cliches. First question, you said, who is the most popular person associated with Christmas? Number one answer, Santa Claus, 74 points. Um, uh, Jesus uh, Christ and Mary were the other answers, uh, which were given by God. Mm. God. Fair enough. It was hard to get hold of, but he filled in the questions. Uh, name one food you might have at Christmas dinner. Uh, you said ham. Uh, turkey, number one answer, which is a little ironic because we've just had tons of turkey uh, here yeah, in the United it's... States, so kind of sick of it. So ham, uh, 25 points. Uh, ham, name a word or phrase that begins with snow. Number one answer, snowflake, followed by snowman. Um, snow globe. <laughs> Again, we have no, actually, zero points. Uh, snow globe. Uh, I like a snow globe. I would have said snowballs, but that's just me. She is. She just won. <laughs> you know what? Game's over. <laughs> say snowballs. Oh, say snow. You didn't say the snowball. You said snowballs. Well, you live in Utah, and it does get cold, so you probably run across yeah, those quite a bit. All, it also gets bloody hot. I don't understand. This uh, okay, name a popular Christmas carol. You said "Deck the Halls," which uh, that actually was the first one that came to my mind. That's another zero. <laughs> what? Rudolph What's the Red Nosed Reindeers for fifty, and Frosty the Snowman. Deck the halls is one of my. Uh, who are they? Who are they polling for these answers? Yeah, but I think the key here is Carol versus song, right? Like, uh, but who knows? Deck the, the halls is a Carol. Oh, Rudolph is, is a, more of a song. <laughs> Deck the halls is. A, is it a Carol? Yeah, well, like a Carol is a song. Is season well, yeah, but, do you yeah, understand like, what I have aw. to put up with, guys? Do you? <laughs> I know, so frustrating. He it doesn't, doesn't matter scary. because name something people do on Christmas Day. Open gifts, number one answer, 72 <laughs> points, which is going to give you a ridiculous amount uh, of yeah. total of? 171. 171 is what I was about to say. Uh, yeah. 171 points. Uh, McKinley, Joe, you and uh, that, 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 that just talking bird. Uh, oh, sorry. Going to have to come up, uh, beat 171. No, I love it. No, no, no. It's cute. I, we have not had a talking bird on the show. Mm -hmm. I actually, uh, the my only thing he knows how to. My neighbors sorry. have a my neighbors have a bird uh, who can literally mimic my neighbor's voice, and believe it or not, um, you know the the alarm every time a door opens, like when you have little kids, ah! we hear that and we're like, what the? Heck? It, it's the bird. It mimics the bird. <laughs> it's it's. Ah! Maybe it's the bell. That would terrify me. We should use the bird bell for the thing when... <laughs> okay. Um, we'll find one. We'll find here one. Here we go. McKinley, uh, here we go. Your answers start now. Uh, 60 minutes on the clock. What is the worst gift you could give your significant other? <laughs> Just read one of them. Um, <laughs> a piece of coal. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> name something commonly hung on a Christmas tree. An ornament. <laughs> Name something people do the day after Christmas. Uh, stay indoors and eat lots of their stu st stocking stuff or candy. Name an item you might find in a Christmas stocking. Uh, orange. Name a smell. <laughs> Name, a, <okay. laughs> Name a smell. Name a smell. Name a smell. 
No, name Vanilla. a smell. Name a smell typically associated with Christmas. A uh, cinnamon. Okay, ding 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 ding. The bell is sounded. Um, oh, that was terrible. Oh, um, <laughs> what is the worst gift you could give a significant other? Uh, number one answer: socks. Uh, <laughs> what? Number Those two. Are useful. Another two. An two answer. Get this. This is real. Divorce. <laughs> And an STD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> STD. STD. Huh? I would take socks over an STD. I'm just saying. I would rather. I, mean, get, yeah. I would rather get an STD from a significant other than you know, the socks guy behind the, the guy behind the grocery store. Divorce. The, hey, I you guess, want a I Christmas guess. gift? All right. It depends on. Come behind this dumpster. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. uh, Cole, seven <laughs> points. Actually, Cole's on there. Seven Hell points. Yeah. Seven points. Uh, we got some making up to do, but I uh, yeah, got some good answers coming up. Yeah, um, name something commonly hung on a Christmas tree. You said ornaments. Number one answer, 37 points. 37 points. Uh, ornaments. Uh, name something people do the day after Christmas. Um, uh, sleep and relax is the number one answer. But eat. Uh, 11 points for eat. Uh, all the goodies, uh, and uh, you said all the goodies and candy in their stocking, mm -hmm. which I thought you were going to say here. Name an item so you might I. find in a Christmas stocking. Candy, number one answer. And orange um, with 16 points. But I'm going to give you the candy as well because you said candy before. So that's going to be 60 points. Yay. <laughs> so she gets 60 points for that. And finally, name a smell typically associated with Christmas. Number one answer, of course, Drew. Yes. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. cinnamon number uh, evergreen forty five. Uh, but cinnamon oh. for twenty two points. Cinnamon, uh, yeah. which I I do I do like that yeah. cinnamon smell. We have those uh pine. You ever get those cinnamony smell pine cones? No. Buy them at the mm. store. I think Trader Joe's oh, our yes. store out here has them. I get little cinnamon sticks. Re really strong. Yeah, cinnamon sticks. Throw those into boiling water. You got yourself a party. Uh, uh, pagan. The other score, what did she come up with? 137. 137, which is uh, less than 17. Michael Timmons coming in <laughs> strong with the big win here on uh, Retro Replay. Uh, I mean, it, 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 was, it was a battle. Uh, you had to take on a bird, uh, but you stuck <laughs> to your guns. He didn't help and, at all. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You let you, me down, bird. You, you, you did your thing. Yeah. You, you had your vape. Uh, you just sat there, looking like an absolute psychopath, just waiting to. <laughs> but just like, yeah, yeah, keep talking, funny boy. I'm gonna sit here in the hoodie and play no, out your I, death. I use this thing all the time. I don't know, like, Dude, don't if worry there about are times I'm not supposed to, you know. <laughs> Yo, hey, hey, no judgment here. I'm, I'm just, I'm just sitting. I'm watching you just rock. He is so chill. He is so West Super Virginia, chill. man. He's like, what's yeah. up? Let's go I was party. Actually, I was actually uh, born in Manassas, Virginia. I've only just recently moved out here, like well, maybe yeah, two months Virginia ago. Virginia too. Okay, Virginia, West Virginia. Do you know what the difference is? One is west of Virginia. That's that's what I tell people. Yeah, and then he, it's the same thing. It's just I'm over here now. Yeah, and, <laughs> and keep, and keep <laughs> going. Keep going west. You know where you are, Drew. Drew's neck of the woods. You're in Kentucky. That's right. That's when you want to. That's there. when you want to wear a really tight belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That backwards like, hey, you want to come back here and help us with our barn? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. No, the answer is no. <laughs> well, that's because you've lived out here long enough. That's true. Say down there, Spanish it's like, sure. No. It's like, we'll give you a free trucker hat. Okay. All right. That's actually that. Got... Only if it's signed Sorry, by Nolan when... North. Exactly. I can make that happen. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you so much. I uh, hope you're staying safe, staying healthy, uh, enjoying uh, the holiday spirit. I think so from Thanksgiving all the way through the new year, this is like I'm in, I'm just in cruise mode. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm as chill as Michael Timmons is with his vape. I'm as chill as, as McKinley's bird just in the back on. <laughs> Don't watch the <your> show. Burk, <laughs> he sucks. Burk, he's not funny. Burk. Can we get that bird full time? I, I want a bird. Can, teach your bird to go. Burk. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for playing the feud, for being replayers. We love you. We appreciate you. And we will see you next time on Retro Feud. That's a wrap. 
Okay, it's that time again when we honor the photos on the bar. Who do we have up today? Uh, first up, Luis Reza. Yes, he's my he's my Luis Pool. Uh, looking at Deadpool, love it. Uh, Jed Ted, that's Theo. Uh, oh, we both look good in that photo. I missed that flat cap. Uh, Alexis Elizondo, uh, taking a selfie and looking herself in the mirror. I like a woman with the, the flower in her hair. Well done, Alexis. That is, that's very cute. And uh, it's a special uh, retro replay because we have our fourth photo on the bar. Yes, the bar has, has expanded. Uh, Shayla Vanstone uh, on a beautiful horse on the beach, uh, which makes me jealous. That is, um, you can't even walk your dog on the beach in California. And Shayla has this beautiful uh, horse um, I wish I knew the horse's name, so I uh, give, some, give, give some love there, too. But uh, I'll just say that is a, a beauty. Uh, thank you, Shayla, Alexis, Luis, and Jed, Ted. And, of course, the members' shout-outs this week. At the Get Good level, we have Alex Hutchison, Nikolai K, uh, TC Gamer, Ronan Hunter, and David Marlin. Uh, at the Drew Soup level, we have Mal Ramsey, Jake Brown, and uh, Adam P. Incognito. B2T Adam. B2T Adam. B2T Adam? B2T Adam. Uh, and finally, of course, at the Mutant Beast level, Chris Valentine, a.k.a. Joe 90, Chris V, uh, Abby Kadabi. I love that. Uh, if that was her real name, uh, I, I really hope it is. Your name is Abby Kadabi because I want to meet your parents and shake their hand. Uh, uh, the CV Gun 123 and Snaker Pace. Uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, being our, our faithful members. And here is this week's shout out just for you. Because yeah! of the do Washington Husky dogs. I'm very proud. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you to Felicia Day. Uh, thank you for putting up with me, Drew, uh, just stumbling my way through Spider-Man, uh, Miles Morales. Uh, thanks to all you replayers. Thanks to uh, everybody who came out there and, and uh, played a little retro feud with us. Uh, Michael Timmons and McKinley, and of course, Pagan. Thanks to Paul Both, Stephanie, uh, Drew, who's, you know, he's uh, over there. And uh, the other guy, um, <laughs> PJ, wherever he is, right, <laughs> combing his hair or shaving his back. Mm. We'll see you next time. I mean, uh, um, uh, where, hold on, hold on. Damn, where'd I put my glasses? There they are. <laughs> my crotch grabbed him. Okay, uh, here we go.